here to break it all down for us and what happened at the Capitol and what the plan is moving forward is co-founder of Black Voters Matter Fund, Latasha Brown. Great to have you back on the program, Latasha. You met with Vice President Harris earlier today. Uh, talk to me about that first and what was the outcome of that meeting? You know, we met with 19 black women leaders, many of us activists, some organizers and heads of civil rights organizations. We actually met with um, a, a Madam Vice President. It was actually a very promising conversation. You know, I think there were a couple of three takeaways. The big takeaway is she assured us of her commitment to voting rights um, and what some of the things that she plans on doing in terms of using her office, you know, as a space to really be able to get, you know, the fullness of the administration. Um, Literally, to bring those resources to bear. The second thing, you know, was that we were able to share our recommendations of what we thought, you know, where we are, that that what we were experiencing on the ground. She was very much interested to hear about what is the work that we were doing, what were we interested um, in, in the time and in how we saw things happening. And we were very um, open with her and honest with her that we thought that we needed at this moment because the attack on voting rights is like a trifecta. It's happening on the local level, on the state level, and the federal level. And so, one, we need federal legislation. We need the full weight of not only her office but the office of the president to be completely behind voting rights that black voters black and brown voters are being targeted and attacked because we participated um, in the last election you know and we came out in historic numbers and so that this while this was a, a an effort that was targeted at black voters that she understood that this is an effort that has implications to democracy for all of us in this nation you know the third thing is that we were able to really open up the lines of communication that one we needed to really that there was an alignment that we we wanted to be be sure that we it's going to take all of us you know that she was very vocal about her passion around this issue that she in fact had asked to be to work on this particular issue and that she was willing to and and really interested in what communities had to say and how could we literally leverage and work together because all of us are responsible around for strength and democracy. So I think it was a very promising, uh, a very promising meeting. And I think that we were also very clear, you know, with the vice president that what we are, we're going to be relentless, that we expect nothing less than the passage of the For the People Act and the John Lewis Voter Advancement Act, because we believe at the, when we're seeing the level of attacks that we're seeing right now, you know, that and the only thing that's going to stop right. that, that is literally being able to slow down the process with federal legislation. So we are, we, we really want to reassure her, you know, and really tell her about our commitment that that our com this is going to be a long, hot summer because we will continue to go to the Senate or wherever we have to do, wherever, wherever we have to go, because black folks exactly. have fought and died for the right to vote. We're not going backwards. Latasha, let, let me, uh, first of all, thank you for that. And uh, I know that the vice president also compared each of you to being uh, Sojourner Truth and, uh, and other leaders like Fanny, Fanny Lou Hamer. Uh, but I want to get to yesterday. Yesterday was a very emotional time, very pivotal time, very dramatic time there on Capitol Hill. Uh, can you walk us through what happened at the Capitol yesterday? And, and I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, on January 6th, there were people who uh, protested and carried out an insurrection, uh, yet we didn't see the kind of arrest that took place for a peaceful protest that we all witnessed yesterday with black women and some black men standing there fighting for and demanding voting rights and asking in a peaceful way to do that. Talk to me about it. You know, we used our democratic rights to be able to really be able to bring our grievances that we went to the Senate Capitol. The spirit and the energy of which we went was extremely different. It was very different than January 6th. We didn't go with the intention to destroy, to be destructive, but literally to be able to lift our voice in the same kind of spirit that centered in love and agency, just as in the civil rights movement, but also accountability. So we actually walked to the Capitol about a, 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 a earlier that day, you know, the round, uh, Black Women's Roundtable held a rally that we had had a rally where black women leaders who had been on the front line of voting rights that we actually were able to meet um, and we actually were able to have a press conference and really talk about the things that we're doing and really our call to action walk together as a group to the Senate building and the heart building we knew you know that we were actually going to the building you know it was the first time that there had been a a, uh, um, a a show of like literally being able to bring and voice those concerns being able to go in the Senate building and we started peacefully there was a prayer then we literally we started with a prayer 
prayer and we started in the same spirit that our folks you know had did on Edmund Pettus Bridge we actually sang freedom songs and we went into the center of the Senate building what you could see is people coming out of their office you know literally lining up actually watching what happened so in the spirit in which we went was peaceful protest that was civil disobedience that was based on the right that we have to protest in this country but also done in the spirit of being responsible and really saying that we are literally demanding voting rights in this country that we're not going back we're not going to be punished because we participated in this last election and you know latasha it would have been uh, nice to have seen the senators actually be brave enough and bold enough and concerned enough to step out there to hear you speak rather than to watch capitol police carry you off a missed opportunity uh for the senate leadership there republican and democrat all of them should have come out to hear you explain why voting rights is so uh, special, particularly since one of their own stalwart leaders from the House, John Lewis, died a year ago. Tomorrow will be the uh, anniversary of his death. John Lewis, of course, talking about good trouble and stating before he died, his last breath was also to talk about fight for voting rights. Latasha, I got to tell you, thank you for what you're doing. And I know brothers and sisters really care about what you're doing. Appreciate you. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. And I do believe that we will win. We have to stay the course, just as as John Lewis said, we have to keep our eyes on the prize and hold on. Okay. Thank you so much.